Yeah, absolutely. I think a lot of the comments made by management on the call yesterday echoed my learnings from my trip, which is it's quite a marked contrast in that part of the trip was pre-stimulus and part of it after. And you could tell the change in tone in the sense that uh, um, most of the corporates and experts that I met with were looking for a way that animal spirits and consumer confidence could be revived in China because that was seen as what was the weakest link uh, in terms of the impediment to economic growth resuming. Uh, and so that is clearly some hope that the stimulus uh, offers in terms of being able to revive that. Uh, in the sense of Chinese ability to consume, household deposits and savings remain exceptionally high, and that is in itself a function of very low confidence. When people don't have confidence to spend, they hoard savings, which is what has been happening. And that clearly, as we can see with LVMH's results for that higher spending consumer accelerated in the third quarter of the year. Uh, this is a company that was telling us that uh, the Chinese cluster spend by all mainland Chinese wherever they spend uh, as of the first quarter of the year was up 10%. By the end of the first half that had deteriorated, well, decelerated to plus mid to high single digit rates of growth. But by the third quarter, it had actually reversed and is now at negative um, mid-single digit declines. So that is really the shift in sentiment that has been most pronounced uh, in China. And I think some brands have been more, more acutely affected than others. LVMH, I would suggest, is probably one of the better performing uh, companies in terms of its brands outperforming within that market. Even the company alluded to the fact that it is gaining market share here. So I would suspect that this will be a relatively torrid earnings season for some of the peers uh, that are due to report. We also saw with Ferragamo yesterday that their sales in Asia Pacific in the third quarter were down 21%. Uh, Sweater, we are setting up for the stock price, LVMH, to drop about 5.1%, uh, according to, to Tradegate, uh, as we see some of the early flashes come through on what type of uh, downbeat action we could see in the stock today. You mentioned some of your research that uh, the Chinese consumer is now looking for experiences. I think I've heard this before somewhere. It's exactly what Western customers did as they, they got out of the, the lockdown mentality. They started reaching for something different. It wasn't a new handbag. It wasn't a new product. It was some sort of travel or, or restaurant experience. How do you think that changes the landscape for the next 12 months for these luxury players? So, I mean, it's not doesn't necessarily have to be an either or. We saw, for example, in the wake of the pandemic in the West that actually experiences did surge, but so did goods consumption uh, as well because of the excess savings that were lying on consumer balance sheets. Uh, that said, in China, it is clear that uh, having experienced a harder lockdown than many of us in the West did, uh, the appetite for travel at the moment is higher than necessarily goods consumption, which is why, and not just for travel, but also outdoor activities, mountain climbing, uh, sport has become very popular as well. It's very competitive to get a space uh, on a marathon uh, in China these days, of which there are many more than there were pre-pandemic. Uh, and so all of these are conspiring to take that share of wallet away from traditional luxury goods, which also it must be said, haven't really maybe offered as much newness uh, in the last 18 months and have also undertaken quite meaningful price increases that have alienated aspirational entry-level consumers. So that group of consumers that they're catering to is quite a small pool of very important clients uh, of which, you know, there aren't that many new ones to go for. So unless the industry starts to cater to that aspirational entry-level consumer again, they will probably continue to lose out to other categories that are able to speak to them uh, where such as travel, for example, experiences, uh, camping, uh, all of these are definitely taking a share of wallet away from traditional luxury goods.